Butter Funner there. Today I'm down by my wood stove. I'm going to install a damper into one of these pipes. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. The old pipe that I took out of the stove, it had the damper 12 inches from the stove. And that's what I'm going to do here as well. But I'm going to measure from the top down because uh, this is the cut side and it's not quite straight. So I know the top is a straight straight edge. 18 and a half minus 12. Instead of 12 inches up, I'm going to do six and a half inches down. Now where this seam is, I'm going to have that towards the back of the stove. And we want the damper on the sides and this way you can have better access to it. So with the seam at the back, I'm gonna measure down six and a half inches on this side. Six and a half on this side. measure. Perfect. And that's about 12 inches from the bottom. Perfect. And now I'm going to get a cheap flimsy tape measure out. Uh, sewing me tape measure would probably work, a cloth one, but I don't have one of those. I'm measuring the distance around and it is 19 inches around from the outside. About a quarter of the way around, right on my line here, I'm going to do a small hole. Keeping that 19 inches in mind, and half of 19 inches is nine and a half inches. And I'm at the six and a half inch mark right here from the top. And that's where my hole's gotta be at nine and a half inches here. Exactly halfway around from the other hole. So that's the pilot hole and I'm just going to make the hole the same size as this pin right here. You want these holes just big enough so that uh, this pin will slide through. Make sure your pipe is as round as possible. So here's the new damper and this thing is spring loaded as yours should be as well and you have to push that inward, give it a twist and then it slides out. Putting it back in once it's inside the stove pipe. Turn it back and it locks itself back into place there. It's got the tabs on the back and it locks in just like so. Now I need to take it apart again. It's in all the slots on the inside. Here's where the turning comes in. Yeah. It in and flip it. So now you can see that pin is uh, pushed in 
and locked into place.